that the injustice that we have suffered and are suffering and will continue to suffer will never be brought to a halt as long as we put ourselves in a straitjacket uh, when we are fighting against those injustices. And for that reason, those of us in the organization of Afro-American unity have adopted as our slogan by any means necessary. And we feel that we're justified. Whenever someone is uh, treating you in a criminal way, an illegal way, in, a, in an immoral way, why, you are well within your rights to use anything at your disposal to bring an end to that unjust, illegal, and immoral condition that you're being victimized by. I believe that. And for this reason, and for this reason we try and be as peaceful and as law-abiding and as legal and as respectable as possible. But at the same time, I believe that it's time for black people in this country to obey the law. But at the same time, when anybody uh, is breaking the law and breaking you in my neck and cutting off you in my life, it's the government itself, which is, is supposed to be our protector, shows that it is unable or unwilling to protect us, then we have, we have to band together and protect ourselves. And when we do it like that, When we do it like that, we, find we'll, we will find that we'll get more respect and we'll be farther down the road toward freedom, toward re recognition, and toward respect as human beings. But as long as we dilly-dally and try and appear that we're more moral than anybody else by taking the beating without fighting back, why people will continue to refer to us as very moral persons.